It's me, that MVP, Ropey 30, a.k.a. that dirty Ropey 30. So today we're going to take a look at zone manipulation. For those of you that don't exactly know what I'm talking about when I say zone manipulation, I'm going to break it down into layman's terms for you boys. That is, making the zones do what we want them to do to open up the routes that we were trying to throw the ball on. So, for one of our favorite plays to manipulate the zones with is Z-Spot. If you've seen the Chiefs offense, you know what I'm talking about. That Z-Spot is dirty, baby. It's dirty. It shreds the defense. It shreds it. It shreds cover two, cover three, cover four. Cover your mama. Tell her to lock the door. So, without further ado, Let's get into this. Cover three. We're going to shred it. We're going to shred it. So look at me with this real quick, this cover three. You'll notice you've got a light blue zone, which is a flat zone, a darker blue zone, which is a deep zone that goes up the field, and some yellow zones. So the way we want to get this flat zone to come down is with this flat route that Robert Turbin is on. So you see your halfback is on a flat route and what that flat zone is going to do is going to cover that flat route. Okay. okay. Then to take our deep blue zone away, what we're going to want to do is streak our outside receiver. Shoot, you can even move him out. So that this just gives, you don't have to do this, but this just gives you a better idea of what we're exactly we're doing. So you'll notice that that streak right there kind of takes that deep blue with it. And what's going to happen is that corner is going to go up the field with that streak. That flat is going to come down, and that corner route that Witten is on should become open. So, in all actuality, it may take a little bit for this play to develop because the flat the flat route is coming out of the backfield so it'll take a little while for that flat route to suck that flat zone down but i want y'all to watch this okay so there comes the flat route there went the flat flat zone sucked down boom we just put a big hole in all the zones to get the uh ball where we wanted it to on that corner route now let's do let's look at the other side of the field we have the same thing. We got a flat. I mean, this is basic cover three. This is basic football knowledge. Cover three. You've got three deep blue zones that are going to cover over there. That's why it's covered three. If you have four deep blue zones, it's called cover four. If you got two blue zones, it's cover two. I mean, it's just basic football stuff. Uh, another thing thing you can do, if you're having trouble getting your corner out open up quick enough, you can motion this guy out. Sorry. You have to. You can't motion the wide receiver and the halfback out, but you can motion this ha halfback out here on that flat route, and that flat zone should pull with that flat route even faster. See, there he goes taking it, which leaves just a bigger window for us to overthrow. So let's let's try that again. He's on his flat route, got your streak. Uh, streak takes the deep blue, flat route takes the flat zone. Witten should come open way quicker. See, open. Uh, let's let's count that out real quick together. That that works a lot better. <coughs> Sorry, still getting over this pneumonia. All right, so here we go. One one thousand, two one thousand, three one thousand. Throw. You got three seconds in the pocket before that route is totally opened up. Where I would feel comfortable throwing it. Now another way to uh, manipulate the zones is a little play I love to do, and it's put my streak there to take the deep blue, put my flat route to pull the flat zone. And then it takes a little bit to develop, but that wheel route to the halfback, it will develop for you. So just kind of roll out of the pocket. I I, choose, I like to roll out. And he's wide open in the hole, in the zones, because we created the hole. 
Anyway, that, that's just something I kind of wanted to show you guys. If y'all want to pull a flat route right down, or a, a flat zone down, put a flat route there. If you want to take a deep blue away to open up a route you're trying to throw to, then put a streak there. That's all you have to do to manipulate these zones. This never was intended to be a long video. All it really was here to do was to just kind of show y'all a little bit of how to manipulate your zones to get them to do what you want them to do. And it's really handy if y'all learn this kind of stuff. It'll take your Madden game to what we like to call the next level. So practice this. Try and take your Madden game to the next level. I'm sorry, I just love this play. I love running it. I love running it in head-to-head. -head. Anyway, I'm Ropey30. I appreciate you guys watching this video. If you haven't subbed to me, please do so. And you guys, y'all make sure to have a nice day.